in addition to being really good at moving chairs around, and also a comedian, so that's pretty cool. <laughs> you guys comfortable? I feel like I, I tried my best. Okay, oh nice. Awesome. Uh, you guys, this is down the rabbit hole. hole. Oh my god, I can't even talk. This is down the rabbit hole comedy. We do a pop-up comedy shows once a month. It's an all-female lineup tonight. You guys give it up for women. jokes now? Or? Okay, great. Um, so I have a, I have a mouth sore. Um, it's highly contagious. Uh, and what that means is if a guy kisses me here, he can't go down here. Because he'll give myself her I'm just joking. I'm just, it's, it's, it's actually called Infantigo. I've had it since I was a kid. Uh, but back then, I would let it grow and fester on my face, and then I would peel pieces of skin off of it and pop it into my mouth. And that was just like part of my personality. Okay, you guys, I'm weird, so that's just, this is what you're gonna get from me. Oh my god, thank you. Do you want my number? I'm just kidding. I'm not.
I'll tell you what it is. So it's when a when a woman's on her period. Yes, we're back to it. Um, and the guy goes down and he on her and he fills up like a diva cup, and then he baby birds it into her mouth and she takes it like a fireball shot. I think that's funny. You guys are too uptight. I'm sorry. That's hilarious. But I just don't understand the angel part or the kiss part. And then once the woman has it in her mouth, does she swallow her own blood? Does it get recirculated? What's the left part of the mouth? Do you guys not think about this stuff? Well, that's why I'm here. Let me think about that stuff. So. Alright, um, I'll tell you guys one more thing, uh, so um, I can tell you like being uncomfortable, so I'll just go for it. Thank you. I'm so glad you guys came in from out there, so glad. You were bored, you needed this, right? Yes! You're a sex educator in the house. Okay, okay, you knew what an angel kiss was then, right? Oh my. Oh, okay. Let's get a drink later. Uh, okay, um, you guys, a lot of times I have, um, I didn't hear what you said, but anyway. Uh, a lot of times I have, a lot of times I have um, first dates where I'm just on stage and the person is in the audience and that's the whole thing. So I feel like this is that. <laughs> this is that. Okay, I'll do one, one more. I'll just tell you guys about my life a little bit more, and then we'll have your second comedian, because I'm also a comedian. I don't know if I told you that earlier. Okay. So you guys, um, I went to Target to treat myself, okay? Yes. Thank you. I, so I picked up um, a four pack of socks and a pregnancy test. And when I got home, I was peeing on the stick and I realized it was actually a three pack of socks. And I was just really bummed, you know? Like, I really wanted that extra pair, you know? They had bees on them, okay. Um, but yeah, so for a while there, I thought that I was pregnant and like, I was kind of excited to be like a sexy little mommy. Uh, spelled M-O-M-M-Y, not the Spanish way. Um, and I was like, oh my god, I finally have a use for my spare room, right? Um, so I was gonna like paint the walls a gender neutral oatmeal, cause I'm like woke or whatever. Um, and like two years ago, my doctor was like crying for me, and she's like, oh my god, Anne, I'm so sorry, but it's gonna be really hard for you to get pregnant if you stay with your boyfriend who's in the closet. Um, so, I broke, so I broke up with him, and then over the summer, for the very first time, I had sex with a black guy. And I just felt instantly inseminated. Um, uh, because he, you know, it's true what they say, right? Like he did have a big one. Um, and I don't know if they always look like this, but his, like, the shaft was like a lighter brown, and the head, like, the mushroom cap was a, was a pitch black, and then, like, the underbelly of the mushroom cap was pink, which I was surprised by. Um, and then the rim of the mushroom cap was also pink. I was like, huh, I was not expecting that at all. I'm just staring at him now. I, was, I thought he was going to give him some kind of head nod, like, yes, you're correct, or just like a second opinion. I noticed there's like a deep alleyway outside. You could just, no, I, that's inappropriate. Okay, um, so yeah, you guys, this is when I still thought I was pregnant. I was just thinking about this, like, if I have a son, he's also going to have a big one, right? Like, while he's a baby, right? So like, one, he's coming out of my body, like shooting out of my birth canal. Am I going to be aroused by my own son's big one? 
I mean, I'm just asking you, sir, because you're a sex educator, so I feel like you would know. You guys, loosen up. It's a comedy show. This is probably the worst stuff you'll hear all night, so... Well, on that quiet, deaf sound... Is it deaf, deaf, deathly quiet? Am I saying it right? You guys, English is my first language, so... Okay, well you guys are still smiling, so that's something. Um, on that note, I love this lady, she's like, hates me the whole time. She's like looking down, zoning out, she's like, I wish I didn't have to be here right now.